What's up, what it do, what it is, it's your boy Dref. It is Liam. And welcome to episode number 39 of the Dref and Lish podcast. podcast. We have a guest who's been here before, yeah. his family, he's a brother, mm-hmm. Malenga Chanda, the great. That's no need for an introduction. He has got come? energy for days. <laughs> <laughs> I asked I you. Hey. <laughs> I got good energy. I feel like I need to catch up. Yeah, yeah. I should have had like a sneakers or something. <laughs> yes. I've got uh, some sweets somewhere. You want sweets? No. I can give you sweets. No. Jack up your sugar. <laughs> yeah, man. Good yeah. to have you back. Thank you. We've man. been planning to have you back for a long time. When did we start talking about this? In October. Weeks, bro. Yeah, Weeks. In October, I think in October. Yeah. yeah. I said, no, let's we, do it. Let's do it. We had our episode in I think August, September. Yeah, somewhere there. Somewhere there. Yeah. Was and it we, before? Maybe July? Maybe no, even no, no, way. Maybe even yeah. way. Yeah. Because I remember it was, it was way before cold. That. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was cold. Yeah, I remember. Cold, yeah. Back so back at my place. And now everything is transformed, you guys. Yeah, man. We're, we're, we're trying to get there. Love to see it. We're trying bro. to get there. Mm, trying to be like you when I grow up. Yeah, come on, bro. Mm. Listen to this guy. <laughs> this guy. We <laughs> want to be like you when we I'm grow up. I'm about to bro. chow up a pen, uh. guys. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so how have you been, bro? Been good, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, learning, growing. Mm-hmm. Um, learning to keep my head down a bit more. Yeah. Because you just learn sometimes that as you continue to get more ambitious. Um, it's not very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very welcome in certain spaces. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. You have to kind of manage it. Yeah. Because at a certain point, it's it becomes a battle between who you really are and what you need to be. Because those can be very two different. Sounds like things. a huge conflict as well. It yeah. is. It yeah. is a very huge conflict yeah. because we're we're living in a in our age group and also just the society we stay in. You know, they they. I mean, as much as people tell us, be yourself. Yeah, they also like, but not like that. Yo, when I'm when I'm myself, like yeah. in certain settings, people are like, ah, bro, turn it down, turn it down, turn a little it down. Bit, yeah, you know? yeah, so like you've got, yeah. So it's it's been, and it's it's very um, interesting that you know we're you know going towards the end of the year. Mm-hmm. So it's also really going back at even the last uh, episode that we had and yeah. to see just how much I've been able to grow this stage is is, is amazing, bro, bro. Yeah. It's, it's it's crazy. It's like. A lot of the things we spoke about, because in that episode, it was just you and me. Mm. Uh, Liam, do you want to come? Uh, uh, did, 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 did you tell me? There. Did you tell me? Oh, no, yeah, you, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Beefus wasn't there. And <laughs> the things we spoke Just about, God. some of the things that we did speak about then are things that are manifesting now. They have. Yeah. In great fashion, they have. Bro. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, before we touch on those things. Yeah. Um, Basically, we're back here because people are like, no, you guys need to talk some more. We need to hear Mlinga speak. Right? Mm. Not even me. They want to hear you speak, bro. The people love you. The p- Do they? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, never told you. I mean, you, you, got, you, saw some, you saw some of the reviews <laughs> on your own. Yeah. Yeah. I got some messages as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, this guy. Yeah, oh no, God. what and uh, what? When are, you ha- when are you having him back again? Now that you've got <laughs> no, video, oh, is, he's, here. Is, he's, here. Here. he's here. He's here. We brought him. He's here. That is not true. I, I, well, I, I split opinion. But it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's like but it was all positive. Yeah, it was yes. all positive. Yeah. I think that interview really um spoke to people in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. So, guys, please check it out. Uh, it's still up on our audio channel on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, Deezer, mm. um, Amazon, yeah. um, Stitcher, I'm um, everything. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. very bad. Um, Man- managing a young career, yeah, mm. managing a young career. Yeah. Yes, now. Good. Let's just touch a bit on like, so you have your young career, right? Mm-hmm. Your young professional, uh, and you want to do other things apart from that. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's where a lot of people wanted to know, like, okay, so how does it really work to manage your normal career? You want to do if it's a podcast, yeah. You want to be an influencer, like mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. a brilliant one that is. Yeah. Yes. You wanna be, you wanna bake mm. goodies, mm. Uh, pastries. Yeah. You're gonna be a photographer. You're gonna yes. be a videographer. So, like, yes. how does that, you know? Yeah. Like in your in your practical yeah. experience, how has that been? It's been very hard because Ooh. from oh. I can't even lie to you. There's, you know, the the one thing about socials that people don't understand is there's a persona that I have there uh-huh. that is not entirely who I am. Now I know okay. that's a very dangerous statement because people are like, so are you the fake version? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just mean I'm not always ready. I'm not always dressed up. I'm not always positive. I'm not always very progressive or ambitious mm-hmm. or just similarly to know it all. Yeah. Uh, there are times in my own space when I'm very sad and depressed or uh, failed 
and I don't have friends yeah. and I'm just trying to find meaning out of this whole life thing because it gets gets to you. The the balance for me, and I get asked that all the time and I'll touch on that a little bit, is I come from a creative background yeah. and that is family-wise and even just my origins, obviously, in the faith. There is no point... Everything that I have today is a byproduct of a creative background. There's nothing that just came about because it was just, it, like like it just, just happened. happened. Like yeah. it's random, yeah. right? Now, that is some of the shock or the culture shock that has happened in the corporate sector because mm. a long time ago, well, there were personalities a long time ago, but yeah. now with the medium that is social media, mm. it's louder. Yeah. So now people are getting to see, okay, so this guy cannot just exist in the corporate sector or in the bank. Mm -hmm. He can also do other things away from that. Yeah. Now, where the culture shock is, where a few individuals or people who may not understand you, they may think you're violating certain ethics or you mm. are going offline or off tangent. When in actual sense, you're just being yourself. The way mm. you are. Yeah. Because when it comes to when it comes down to it, I went to business school to study economics, not because it is something that I was born with. No, economics is something that I was taught. Yeah, okay. But who I am at the core of everything else is a creator. So yeah. it will go with me wherever I go, whether I get into politics or I get into uh, entrepreneurship or I decide to come, you know, become a pastor or a musician or anything else that's out there. The origin of everything for me is that I'm a creative at the core of everything. Okay. So to bring that personality into the corporate, the corporate sector, sector is dangerous because without definition and without context, it would just be seen as you are everywhere mm. and you have no direction. And that mm. is usually the backlash you would get from the older people because they are the ones who lived in an age where personality was was uh, a like taboo. You have to be, yeah. One dimensional. Exactly. One dimensional. When you say you are in corporate finance or you're in economic, you have yeah. to be just that. Be seen anywhere watching a game or at a fashion show or hanging out with musicians. Everyone would be like, you're not supposed to do that. It violates. Almost like they're taken away from that knowledge. Mm -hmm. But it's not true. If we're going to have a society where people can learn all different facets of it, we have to interact. We have to network. And that is why for me, I always tell everyone who's younger than me, I'm young myself, but anyone who's coming up in uh, this trade, yeah. I always tell them, these days, digital your digital footprint is your greatest resume. Everyone is what everyone you you can you there's a way you can package yourself that is not harmful to the public. Criticism is a part of the journey. I mean, even the head of state, even wherever you look up to, whether it's is Cristiano Ronaldo or it's Messi, they all everyone is you you will be criticized. Yeah. But it's 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 how you come back from that. And offer more context to how you're living your journey. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. There are people who have chosen to live a life, uh, be more on the conservative side. They're quiet. They're private. I respect that. But there are also people like me who've decided I'm going to be a light in this area. Mm -hmm. And I'll push this for as long as I can because there are people out there who need it. Yeah. I remember seeing certain things growing up that I never quite agreed with. It's not that it was entirely wrong. I just thought it could be done better. Things like what? balancing your 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 career mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and making sure that you have personality i'm a i'm the biggest advocate of personality yeah you need to have personality away from whatever that your trade is you're not a robot you're not a machine um, people need to see you love art people need to see you love cooking people need to see you love football you know you're into community development work yeah. even though you're a lawyer it's very okay to attend a fashion show yeah but today when you do that everyone looks at you funny. Yeah. Like, is like, it oh, really, it's, it's not really is serious. she really that? And I'll mm -hmm. tell you something like, um, I've been in interviews before or conversations that have come up with people where they're questioning my credibility. And I remember this one person asked me directly to my face yeah. and they were, everyone was busy celebrating like, oh, I really like how you do financial analysis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long did you do that? And I'm like, I've worked for six years at the bank and they're like, and then this guy just asked me directly and he's like, oh, so it's just, so you're just not good at socials. Ooh. Right. So there's That's that. That's an interview. Yeah. So it's there's not. that as well. So it's it's where people box you. They look at you and they're like, he can't tell us anything about yeah. the economy. Yeah. Look at how he dresses. Ah. Right. And that is something that we see even in religious circles where if you dress a specific way, <sighs> there's way. no way God can speak to you dressed like that. 
why with the yeah. hat with the do rag or yeah. whatever yeah the chain that's a, that's the a chain but that's a conversation chain. for another day yeah but at the end of the day for me i decided personally that i'm going to step into this 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 space because i recognize the need for it in the future yeah our kids will be exposed to so much information yeah. Yeah. and they will need figures that will tell them it's okay to be yeah. a creative and still be smart yeah. there's nothing yes. wrong with it yeah. it's okay to come from a musical background and still be a great economist like yeah. one it's okay to come from a visual arts or digital marketing background and still be a great accountant yeah. why not yeah you can even be president if you want. Yes. I mean, nowadays heads of states are even content creators. They yeah, they Instagram are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The president so, of Ukraine is the, the, the one I have, yes. uh, I have been seeing a lot is Tony Elumelu. Exactly. Yeah, Elumelu. Bro, he's killing to the socials, man. Yeah, he's, he's killing he's it. He's cool, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I, love, I love his vibe. He yeah. gets it because he understands, look, to drive sales, yes. I need to be relatable. Need to be, yeah, exactly. Yes. And that's what I'm trying to do. But like I said, there's you split opinion with at the end of the day you will always split opinion. There'll be those like mm, we don't need that. It's too yeah. much drama. Then there'll be those who'll be like you know what this is what we need because it's driving up sales mm-hmm. and it's making us look good out there. Look as long as you're not involved in anything illegal because yeah. that's 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 that's, that's, that's something yeah. different. Yeah. 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 But there's just this edge. We're just an edgy society when it comes to someone who's showing personality because it's scary and you have to understand for some they never had opportunity to do that when mm-hmm. they were younger. Mm-hmm. So now it, you become. The target now. Yeah. They'll be like, oh no, he should Don't be. Don't hit on you. Exactly. But that is something that I've had to grow um, resilient. You know, I have, to, I have to grow resilient. I have had to be stronger. There are times when I get shrugged off sometimes, you know, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. by certain people, certain figures. Mm-hmm. They look at you funny. They'll be like, no, this kid is too much. It's too loud and whatever. Yeah. But there are also people who've got, you know, who've gotten it and they've embraced me and they've taken me closer to them. And such is what, you know, brought stuff like the unique project you yeah, know, where yeah, people yes. are like we need a new face that's showing new money or yeah. new new a new corporate face yeah. of how it looks like in the future mm-hmm. that's how that's how I, you know this whole thing came and that's out. a great segue yes yeah. because you're now working with mtn as a unique influencer yeah uh, what's that about so unique is basically it's how can i put it it's basically the new face of how this like this evolution of just the whole brand as yeah. MTN and obviously even them reaching out to me it's where they're trying to push a narrative of where unique does business unique does social this unique does what so it's basically oh is that why like there's like there's no more data then you have your youtube you have yes, your netflix yes. oh, yeah. it makes so sense the petition no. every, okay exactly. it makes sense eh? so it's so basically what i'm just trying to say is this is unique yeah, in itself. yeah, yeah like yeah. Where the whole way like you you can just you you are unique yeah you can't yeah just, you're you you're you there's you're so many just, sides of you. exactly okay. and that's and even when they reached out they were like we need someone who's symbolizing new new money new perspective mm. where you show that okay you're a corporate face yeah but you're using a certain product to watch netflix yeah. to download certain things and data bundles and whatever i don't ing- I, d- I didn't get involved in all the politics of what mm-hmm. it is mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. i i jumped on it because at the end of the day there was also a place for it that encourages people to pursue what they believe in okay and just the freedom of just being a creative even if you belong in a certain trade yeah there was no violation of any law there was no breach of any contract no it was a, a whole separate entity by itself where they approached me as a private citizen and they said yeah. you come from this sector this is who you are. This is your image. And we want you to be a part of this to push this certain narrative. Okay. That's how I got on it. Damn. Okay, great. And like, yeah, you want to ask something? Oh, yeah, no, no. Um, well, I wanted, like, sorry to take you back. So you talked about, um, like, the rejection from certain sectors of the industry and mm-hmm. having, okay, for, for, for lack of a better term, I'd say, like, having the door shut in your face, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So my question for you is, how do you overcome that rejection and how do you, you know, choose to exist as you? Honestly, I, I, I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out because a part of it is very scary because I've had people come to me and they're like, but maybe you should actually tone down because you will get shut out here. They will not invite you for meetings anymore or whatever. It's like, stuff like corporate that. meetings corporate. in the banking sector. Yeah, or like people will just not push your agenda anymore because you're ah. too loud. Ah. Right. Ah. Um, hmm. It's crazy. Though. That's crazy, bro. But like I said, you, you eventually you will split opinion because mm-hmm. in there, there are also people who are like, we, this is what we need. This is the new face of uh, the corporate sector. It we is. need We yes. need to see multifaceted young people who are not just one thing. 
it ge- if anything it helps us companies because then we get to see diversity of yes. gifts that yes. we can yes. we can you know improv you know we can incorporate into our strategies into our goals into our you know 2020 whatever and and visions but it's a selected section that yeah. is accepting of that and that is why for me deliberately i've decided to be that you could say sacrificial. I'm not the only one. Yeah, there's quite a number yeah, there, of us, there, 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 you know, who are really pushing boundaries, and they get backlash as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I've seen doctors. Mm. One of them uh, is is Moonsha. We were together on the Unique Project. Doctor oh yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's a certified. She she. I'm not talking about just grad. No, she actually passed. You know how lawyers pass the bar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she is a H- certified. HPCZ. Yeah, yeah, she, 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 and yeah. she's great at what she does, bro. She of creates course. content. She's loving to the community, but it's just that that such has never been seen before in our culture. Mm. So it's rejected. Like, it's it's a culture well. shock, exactly. And then right now, Zambia is, is having a bit of an issue with celebratory culture. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's having a bit of an issue with that because in that are friends that we knew growing up and they've yeah. evolved. Yes. So now you start to see them funny, like also oh, now they think they're all that. No, yeah, they yeah. they have just discovered their end game. Exactly. Yes. And what you like should it's do, a new path. like bro, the, the, the like purpose. Yeah. <laughs> like don't hate, just just be appreciate. happy for your Don't hate, friend. accommodate, accommodate, appreciate. <laughs> you know yeah. what yeah. I mean? But it, we're struggling with it because for a long time we've all enjoyed seeing each other at the same level playing field. So the moment you become a little bit too ambitious, oh, you're too good for us, yeah. or. Mm you're involved in some funny business or you belong to a certain circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not true. (laughs) You just, you know, you just make a conscious decision to be better, to evolve. I've been friends with Liam for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Where he met me, the first time that he met me and where I am are two different places. The reason, the only reason why we're still friends is because he's evolved with me. The moment you stop evolving with me, the friendship You feel like, ah... Exactly. The guy is too good for us now. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, and yeah. you start to just to, to sab, mm-hmm. you know, speak ill in certain rooms, and then you're just like, "But I thought we were close, though." We're homies, <laughs> right? But you know, it's because cool. word always gets out. No, it does. Word, word always, always gets out. People like, should uh, know that. You guys should know that. Word, y- always, should, word get always gets out. And we I, know. The other we day, know. <laughs> the other day, I was actually telling someone to say allegiances and loyalties are a real thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You may think you've gotten away with something when you speak something in a circle. You have no idea oh, who's loyal. Yeah, yeah. And it and and I'll tell you. It, yeah. it gets to me. It yeah, does. Yeah. Like, you, I just stumble upon it. Someone yeah. just texted me, oh, this, 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 and this was saying this. Like, oh. And then I'll meet these people in public <laughs> and, and they'll be like, goody, goody. Like, yeah. I'm just like, stop that. Like, yeah. you don't you. like me. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have <laughs> like, to pretend. <laughs> exactly. Human beings, so bro. now deliberately what I... <laughs> So deliberately what I've started doing is that I've just I've been just trying to keep my head down, man. Lately, yeah. I'm just you not know, trying to be out there and and because I, I can see how that can easily backfire. So I've just kept a small circle of friends who get me, and mm-hmm. that's fine. Look, I don't mind being lonely if this is what it means to push a certain narrative and yeah. to encourage certain people who are scared to come out and just be themselves yeah. and be expressive, be talented, be smart, be respectful yes. of you know whatever uh, faith they belong to or whatever ideal to just push a certain narrative that still makes us creatives look like we understand what we're doing. Yeah. You know, we don't have to look at photographers like they're dumb and they, the choice that they made, like, yeah, they'll yeah. lose out or, you know, people who've decided to be, you know, uh, podcast hosts. Mm. We don't need to look they're at... Like cre- they're just making exactly. noise. Yeah. Some, of, making some noise. of the comments I've received... Yeah, no, exactly. We don't need to look at creatives like else. that anymore. And you know what's very funny is that Sometimes the hate comes from within the very industries. Yeah. Yes. The same people who should be accommodating you, they are rejecting yeah, you. And you're yeah. just like, ah, but we're, part we're doing of the same the thing. Same thing. Yeah, it's just yeah. that we're coming from different perspectives. Yeah, yeah. There's, yes. there's a place where we can meet and push together. But mm-hmm. so far, so good. You yeah. know, I'm not going to, you know, say it's all negative. I'm trying my best. You know, there are certain young people that I meet sometimes at the mall and mm-hmm. they'll just be like, bro, thank you so much for making me. There's one who I met recently who said, thank you for making Thank you for showing me that it's possible. Damn. Wow. As, as, as small as I am, yeah, yeah, I, haven't like, even, yeah. I haven't even like, reached where I'm supposed to be. But it felt good because that. in that moment, someone saw to say, ah, so this Can't guy, possible. Ah, it's possible. You can yeah. actually cross these boundaries yeah. and break the stereotype. Yeah. It's possible. I mean, look, one day, you know, if it's God's will and I become a CEO of something, yeah. everyone will be like, have you seen where he started from? Please, bruh. you come and watch this video right? in a, just, in like, just in a few years. Just in a few years. Like I, I <laughs> want, CEO, bro. I, I'm I thinking want, governor, bro. <laughs> I want that because I, I'm not. Sure, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of it, but the CEO of uh, Goldman Sachs is a DJ. Yeah, yeah. 
He's a good DJ. Yeah. He plays at big festivals. Did you did you know that? Yeah. And I actually saw it on your page, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. As a yeah. DJ. And in ish to be that here, yeah. you go here. through hell Bro. just yes. just for Bro. people to actually respect you and see you serious. Yeah. Because ah, DJ. It, and it's like yeah. there's this thing where if you're say a DJ or you're a CEO, people want to see you as one thing. As only. one thing, yeah. No. It's not you can't see the decoration of yeah. CEO, sorry, who is a DJ? Or CEO, who tries to be a DJ? No, 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 no. He's yeah. a CEO. He is a DJ. DJ. It's not fair. She's a CEO. She does whatever she wants. It's it's not fair. And I, it's I it's honestly it's not, not fair. Bro. It's not it's fair not because not fair at all. it really takes away from people's individuality. Yeah. And without individuality, there's no art. It's flat. Exactly. Everything is flat and it's boring. It's just it's just boring. Blank canvas. I, I want to talk about a, a year in a day. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I kind of feel that also sort of opened up your mind. It did. Um, showed you new perspectives and what kind of impact that has had on it's, on your journey as it is. Uh, it's had a lot of impact because I... The, Be- maybe yeah. before you answer, yeah. explain what, what that is. Year so, a year yeah, in a, yeah. <laughs> so a year in a day is basically a concept of uh, someone narrating their whole year, the last 365 days of their life in a day. So it's basically a catch-up session. Okay. Of where I just get different personalities and they just get to tell me about their failures, their success, uh, emotional stress, uh, wins, and everything else they've been yeah. dealing with the last one year, so the last 12 months. Yeah. But they tell it in a day. So they okay. squeeze it in and then they, it's like a summary. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So that's why I don't do it every day because mm-hmm. I try to allow people to actually have something yeah, to talk prepared. about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So why I did that? Because when I was in grade 12, um, actually, the book that I want to write, the title is A Year in so a I Day. I was waiting for that. Uh-huh. Yes. I was waiting for that. Yeah. Glorious! Yes. yes. All right. So like, <laughs> the, the book that I wanted to write, I titled it A Year in a Day. So it's basically just a journey of a, of a, of a youth who experiences all seasons in one day. Okay. Like, like from, you know, cold season, hot season, yeah. autumn, spring, and all other seasons in a day. And sometimes it did feel like that when I was growing up where mm-hmm. you feel like you've, you've lived 100 years because of circumstances and certain things that never went my way. So it's basically just an exhaustive story of mm-hmm. how to navigate life as a, as a, as a young adult, yeah. right? Uh, it's not a self-help thing. It's not a motivational thing. It's okay. actually just like real life practical things yeah. where like, mm-hmm. dude, like it's really hard out here sometimes if you don't have a support system. You don't have a faith system. Mm. You don't have a mentor. You don't have something that you hold on because all of us have different fights. Yeah. What yes. may be your fight is not my fight. I know friends who don't have to fight poverty, respectfully so, yeah, because yeah. their parents mm. did that for them. Yeah, they did that for them. God bless yeah, them. So, yeah. But then there's people like me who starting from scratch. Mm-hmm. I have to create that for my children. So how do we navigate life for different, you know, different kinds of ind- you know, individual and personalities? And that's something that I also see in our age group in Lusaka specifically. Yeah where like we don't understand each other that we have different fights and different privileges. Yeah. And I know that word invokes a lot of opinion um, and a huge emotion uh, and, and people yeah. you know people are triggered in different ways. But guys, there's nothing wrong with privilege. It's just that we are graced differently. Yeah. Even me being here, being part of unique and all these things that I've worked on this year, it's privilege. Yeah. yeah. But that privilege was kicked off of circumstance. Yeah. I had to find a way to navigate life, to, make, to be there for my family, to be there for my mom, to be there for this. But I know a friend who doesn't have to do any of those yeah. things. Yeah. And I can't hate on that friend. No, their parents worked harder. Again, that's not is. disrespect to my parents. to be like, oh, so are you saying your parents? Yeah, no. It <laughs> it's just life. That's just how it is. You know, there are certain, we're dealt different cards. Yeah. And we all have to navigate them differently. So a year in a day, that's the concept. It's about understanding all those issues and then sharing different experiences and making people relatable to them. Yeah. And then the podcast, why I called it that? Because I wanted the very people from different sectors to come and talk about that in their life. So I had people who are young politicians, musicians. Yeah. I had him on an episode. Yeah. You know, he has you know a background that is important. Um, I had people who were financial literacy experts. Yeah. They had to come and share to say, guys, in as much as we're out there telling you how to make money, whoo, I've made losses. Uh, <laughs> like I need, that's the reality. We need that. Yes. And that's the issue that I had with self-help books because mm-hmm. they never, they're not real. Yes. They just tell you, be determined. Yeah. How? I've been, how? I've, been, like, I've, how? I've, been, I've been determined for the last 10 years and I haven't made anything <laughs> out of my life. But I needed real authentic you know where someone cries on a podcast yeah, because yeah. i want people to see that like you're a human being yes even the whole way like you know how celebrities are 
how we speak to them even online, bro. Bro. It gets to them. Yeah. I've had friends who are more way popular than all of us combined here. And they tell me, dude, I read a comment, it, it broke me. And I'm like, you're human. You're human. It should break you. Mm -hmm. but, but to get there, we need to start seeing these people as people who go through stuff. So that's what the podcast was all about. And, you know, it's brought a lot of relevance and I'm yeah. glad that it's grown. Yeah. yeah. I kind of, because I usually go through the comments meaning to see what people are saying about yeah. it. And it's yeah. just, I really love how impactful it is to yeah. different people. Yeah. Because it's it's less about you, but others and what, what they speak about is so different. Yeah. You never know that they, what, what the issue they're talking about is directly speaking to somebody else. I'm exactly. Like, this is what I needed to listen to. Exactly. Every day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, I was going to say something. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. yeah. So, going back to like a year and a day, <laughs> the various uh, personalities that have come on, right? Mm. And I know that there's like a wealth of knowledge out there and there's so many things that you learn from all the guests that have come across yeah. and many inspirations that have come from there. For sure. So what have been like some of your biggest inspirations and takeaways from the wealth of knowledge that you've had on the year and a day? One of my biggest lessons, man, like I won't lie to you, is find, find, find what you're fighting for. Again, that's the biggest Ooh. lesson. Mm. Guys, if, you can, if you can understand that before you hop on a podcast, before yeah. you get into a young goal, or you dress up, or you go to a wedding, or go and see your babe, or call up your dude, and you know, as a woman, and you're trying to, you know, just support him, figure out what you're fighting for. I think that's what keeps us going. Each and every one that I had on that episode that I've had so far, bro, they're fighting for something. Yeah. yeah. And like I told you, for some, it's not all of them who are fighting poverty, guys. Let's be real. Yeah. yeah, yeah some yeah, yeah. have got foundations that are so strong. All they have to do is just walk into, and show up. into show the, up. you know, and it's okay. Interest but there were certain people who, even though parents laid that foundation for them, they are fighting maybe for emotional stability. Yeah. yeah. They've just never been emotionally stable. For some, they've just never seen um, a supportive home. You know, they've had both their parents, but they've never felt loved. Yeah. Real issues, bro. Real issues of that's, society. That's For me, hard. that's what I try mm. to drive home that's at. Yes. That is why I'm very authentic even on my socials. A lot of people have said that's too vulnerable, mm. as, especially for a guy. But it's me. No, but right? it's, it's you. Uh, yeah. No, I've had no, I've had people say, oof, bro, sometimes you, you know, you're too vulnerable. And I'm like, but I want people to understand this is what men go through as well. Yeah. Because you see, out there, everyone expects us to just be grown, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and just... Yeah. It's just rubbish, bro. Like, like, like be hard. No, no. no. Why, Go and hunt. bro? <laughs> and and this whole toxic masculinity thing is really, really harming a lot of my boys because, on one end, they want to be sensitive, mm -hmm. yeah. and be aware of the environment, yeah. But society rejects that because a man, a man shouldn't express himself. Yeah, a man should not emote. Yeah. A man should go hunting. Yeah. Uh, which is okay. I think a man should be <laughs> provided. No, like seriously. Yeah, no, a man I should think, be provided. No, a man yeah, should be provided. provided. A hunter, yeah. But, but. I think you are a plus as a man to any lady, your mom, your parents, your friends, if you're also aware of your environment. Yeah. It just makes you a better human being because you can empathize, sympathize, you can offer silence where it's necessary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not just burst out because you want to show everyone you're smart. Yeah. And these are the egomaniacs we have in corporations because they don't <laughs> have emotional intelligence. Why? Mm. Because of toxic masculinity. They don't yes. have that range. Yeah. They make horrible bosses because they can't read the room. Yeah. Young associates are stressed. They're going through life. They're dealing with expectations of black tax mm -hmm. and, 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 and tax in general. And, uh, and they're working and, late. And, and, and working late. It takes a right. certain level of sensitivity to tell that and mm. just, you know, man management, bro. Yeah. We speak about it in football. Yeah. Man you know, as a yeah. boss. And that's, and that's why when people ask me, like, what's your end game? I want to be CEO someday and I want to be a people CEO. Yes. I want to be able to walk into a room and see my young associates and call them for lunch and be like, guys, what on earth is going on? Yeah, I don't want them to tell them about who they're dating. No, that's yeah. an invasion mm -hmm. of their privacy. But I just want my, I just, one day when I become CEO, I just want them to tell me what they're feeling. But that is very uncommon and unpopular for a guy. Yeah. To a point where some people will just look at you funny, like, hmm, something's off about that guy. Yeah. No, I just want to change yeah. the narrative yeah. of how yeah. you approach society. That's all. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 
Bro, uh, we're out of time already. Imagine. Yeah. That. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but for real? Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, let's stick to time. Mm. Okay. This is this is part of man management. Exactly. Part of man management. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, do you want to speak to say anything to anyone out there? Um, then we can we can shut it down. Oh, for sure. I mean, if you're a Zambian and you're watching this because we're all Zambian, we're all Zambian here, right? Yeah. Um, so that's maybe, the initial. Maybe, maybe, maybe he might be, you know. Congo- Congolese. <laughs> he might be Congolese. No, <laughs> we're if, not too if, sure. If you're Zambian and you're watching this first and foremost because this is home, this is where we're speaking from, I want you to understand that for the first time, if you're a young person, um, especially if you are below 40, let me start there. I need you to understand that there's a part that you're playing that is vital in the next, sh- in the shaping of the next society that needs to change the narrative of everything from top down. The culture, the way of thinking from developmental stages to church, to, uh, to the community, to families. You're playing a major role in shaping that. And if you're not sensitive to the environment that you're in, you are a problem. To that development and you need to accommodate people who are gifted who understand that there's a multifaceted society that's coming up right now and i'm so excited to be a part of it but if you are standing in the way of it you're just delaying the inevitable these young guys will take over eventually and the very systems the very ideas that you reject now you're gonna have to put up with them eventually yeah. so the only way to support it and i know we share different belief systems i know we share different ideologies but let's support each other in a respectful manner regardless of where we come from that is loving that is respectful that is honorable to a point where we celebrate each other and not put each other down we only have ourselves to succeed so if we're going to hate on our own people or our own people's progress who's going to celebrate them so if you're watching this, I just want you to understand that you're a part of reshaping the face of Zambia. I call it the rebranding of Zambia. Yeah. Yeah. You're a part of it. Like I Champions said, if you're, be, if you're below League. 40, you, know, you have so much power right now. And I want you to understand that so that you're able to navigate society better, uh, be, be a bit more empathetic, be a bit more respectful. And um, we'll see each other at the top eventually, I'm sure. Yeah. See you at the top. Yeah. See you at the top. And we out. Boom.